my understanding is uh, some of them reporters for a while now have been uh, seeking out some information about me, trying to find out where I am and who I am and who my friends are. And they went and talked to them folks out there in uh, Kerrville, Texas. Kerrville is where uh, the Cowboys come from. Not not the not the football team Cowboys, like the real Cowboys. Kerrville is kind of a, a place where uh, we have better music than everyone else in the country music world because uh, they listen to Texas country music. And uh, they like driving trucks. And uh, they like uh, drinking a cold beer. Uh, and uh, they, they sure love Jesus so much that if you say you're Satan, um, everyone you've ever known will turn on you and nothing you ever did matter will matter. And, I mean, that's not actually true always, but it is actually true pretty much. And uh, basically, uh, my understanding is that some of these reporters reached out to some, some folks and, and a lot of folks, uh, like probably my friend who uh, owns a gun shop, uh, she's got a little pink gun, it's real cute. Uh, she probably didn't talk about me. But uh, there were some other people that probably did say some stuff about me. Uh, for example, uh, there's a, I'm not gonna talk about it. There's a really pretty girl. <laughs> she probably, uh, I, don't, I, I wouldn't think she would, but I also know one thing, she's dumb as a rock. And that's why I never tried to date her even though she was that good looking. Um, her sister, she's a lot nicer. Uh, she's just, she's actually got a good personality. And uh, she probably didn't say anything about me. My, my old best friend, uh, I don't know. My understanding is he said, I don't know Jesus. And it's like, well, actually, um, Jesus has a song about a male friend that he loved. Like, I mean, let's just, let's just face it. Uh, he, don't, he don't got other songs about men. There aren't that many people that write songs about men. So all I'm saying is... Uh, you have to be pretty good friends with someone to miss them that much. And so, um, if there's anyone that Jesus knows, and if there's anyone that knows Jesus, um, it's probably Satan, unfortunately, for people that hate him for calling himself that. Um, but um, it's, it's crazy how I preach at your church, I'm talking about Dale Way's church, I preached there once. Pretty much everyone came to the altar. And what I said, when I preached. First John says, if you believe in God, your actions will coincide with your beliefs. So if you actually believe in Jesus, you'll actually try to be like Jesus. You'll actually follow Jesus. And that's why, you know, I, I don't like Christianity because the way they treat the gays, uh, the way that it's turned people hateful. But uh, at the same time, I like the way that Jesus makes people. Like the idea of Jesus, the idea of someone that's that nice, the idea of someone that's willing to sacrifice that many years because he doesn't want to snitch on his friend. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just hard to explain like how Jesus and me have a whole different level of relationship than y'all will ever have with Jesus because you don't even know what the guy's like. So, I mean, that's the thing about like, if, you, if, if your actions hate someone who's mentally ill that thinks he's Satan, I don't believe it. Why wouldn't your actions have compassion for him? Why wouldn't you go, God, maybe he needs a friend. I mean, maybe we can bring him back to Jesus. I remember what he was like. I mean, how in the world does that not go through your head? Instead, you go, I'm afraid, drugs are bad, I'm scared, I reject you, I hate you. I hate this man now because he calls himself Satan. He's turned, he's, he's demon possessed or some shit. Well, why don't you get the demon out? Why don't you love him? I mean, that's the thing. That's what Jesus would do. And you know what Jesus wouldn't do is preach to him. He would hang out with him and be friends with him even if he's not a Christian. I mean, that's the thing. Jesus clearly in the Bible was willing to be friends with people that aren't Christians. And he, and like, like I said before, they didn't like not want to hang out with him. It, 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 little bitchy Christians, no one wants to hang out with. That's 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 the reality. But if you're like a cool ass Christian, that's like pretty fun. Um, no one gives a shit if you're a Christian. It's just we like you anyways. Like we don't care. Like Kanye West. It's like okay, uh, would I hang out with Kanye? I don't give a fuck. You can be a Christian all you want as long as you're chill. And I know one thing. He's chill. And so, um, 
All I'm saying is, uh, it's crazy how people can turn on you, but it, it, it's kind of beautiful. It's poetic, like putting me in the heart of the Bible Belt, where like, like the people that know about me, uh, the people that are gonna hate me because I, I'm, yeah, that guy wasn't a cop. He was just an asshole. He's just the biggest asshole of all time. Oh no, he thought that that person was a cop. Yeah, that that fucking like prick, like the biggest prick of all fucking time. Yeah, yeah, I, it's like, why are you so mean? Sorry for the burp. All right, I'm out.